Google have come up with a cracking new way uh, of searching the web. If you've ever used Shop Savvy before or something like that, where you actually use the camera on your Android phone or, or iPhone or whatever to take a photo of a barcode and then have this service recognize the barcode and then suggest the actual product and different prices. It's similar to that, but it's so much better. What Google Goggles does, as the app's called, which you can download now, by the way, for, for Android, uh, is it lets you take photos, not just of barcodes, but of anything. Now, it admits that it doesn't work too well with animals, but in terms of products, text even, logos, things like that, you can simply take a photo of something and use that to search Google with. Now, it's hit or miss at the moment, but I have to say it's surprisingly hit. So what I'm going to do here is just demonstrate it. Uh, this is it here, Google Goggles, da downloadable uh, on the Android App Store at the moment. You simply type in Google Goggles and you'll find it. Well recommend you, get, you give it a go. Uh, product will launch, uh, and what I'm going to do now is just take a photo of some text here. Uh, this is the Times is, uh, Sunday Times' is business section. Now, suppose you want to find uh, the online version of this. I can say it's a bit hit or miss, but you just line up the text, take a photo of it, Okay, and with any luck, what it will do, it will take the photo of it and then it will scan the text, as you can see. And then hopefully, right, it's going to try it a couple of times. Like I say, it is a bit of hit or miss at the minute. But if I just let's try and line this up properly. Okay, let's give that one a go. Again, it's scanning the image. So it's got to recognise text, but not only that, it's got to re recognise text that it can search. Um, and it's not done it this time either. Now, I've got it to do this twice. Here we go. Uh, no. Here we go. So, if we look here, what it's done, <clears throat> in the past couple of times that I've done it, it's pulled it up as the, the first uh, bit of text. Here it's not the first, but as you can see from this result, uh, Business Times Online, Banking and Finance News, The Great RBS Exodus, Thousand Bankers Quit Over Bonus Row. If I go to that, we'll take you to the page. Now that was the bit of text that I actually just took the photo of. And here is, let's put it up on full. Now as you can see, <clears throat> this is working on my T-Mobile G1, which is the first Android phone. This has currently got the latest update 1.6 of Android. Um, but uh, this means it will work with any version of Android, no matter how old your Android phone is. And it's absolutely superb. I've tried it with books so far, and it's recognised the books. It's not only come up with the books, it's come up with images of the books. Um, I've tried it with, with brands and logos, as it suggested. And you can take a photo of the Mars logo. I don't know why I chose Mars, I just like chocolate. Take a photo of the Mars logo, and it'll come up with suggested ideas for different Mars products. So it can be hit or miss, but it can actually be very hit. And this is the banking and financing section of the Times. But annoyingly, it hasn't actually. Oh, here we go. The great RBS Exodus, a thousand bankers quit over bonus row, which was exactly that headline in the Times. So, in terms of a brand new way of searching the web, and Google in particular, this is absolutely amazing. And apparently, it will work with buildings, it will work with, well, pretty much anything. It's one of those things that you just think, my God, what can I try this on? So, recommend you give this a go. Google Goggles it's called. Absolutely brilliant.